We've all been there. You turn on your PC, everything works fine. But the moment you try to upgrade from Windows 10 or an older Windows 11 version, Windows suddenly tells you that your hardware isn't supported. No TPM, no secure boot, or an unsupported CPU message. And just like that, the upgrade is blocked. That's frustrating, especially when your PC is still running perfectly fine. So if you're stuck on Windows 10 or an older Windows 11 version because of hardware limits, don't worry, you're not alone. And yes, this can be fixed. In today's video, I'll show you a free tool that lets you upgrade to the latest Windows 11 version on unsupported hardware without losing your files or apps. My name is Dilshan and you're watching Zdroid. Let's get started. Hey guys! So, the free software we're using today is called FlyOOB. FlyOB is a free open source tool that helps you install or upgrade to the latest Windows 11, even on unsupported hardware. This tool removes the limits, skips the junk, and gives you full control from the very first boot. So if your PC doesn't have TPM, secure boot, or has an unsupported CPU, FlyOBE gives you a clear way forward without manual registry edits or complex scripts. It also gives you more control over setup options, system tweaks, and extensions, all from a single interface. Now let's see how to download the software. First, open your browser, type flyob, and press enter. You'll see two main search results here. Quick warning, don't click on any of the results from flyob.net. That's an unofficial copy and could contain malware. Always choose the official GitHub link. So click the first result here. I'll also add this link to the video description. Once you're on the GitHub page, look at the right-hand sidebar. You'll see a section called Releases. Click on the latest FlyOB version. At the time of this video, it's FlyOB 2.3. This will take you to the release page. Scroll down a bit until you see the download section. Here, you'll find a table showing three versions, along with their purpose and features. For this video, we're downloading FlyOB 2.3. So, click on Download FlyOB, and a small zip file will start downloading. While the file is downloading, you may see a security or virus warning. If that happens, just click Download Suspicious File to continue. Once the download is done, go to your download folder. Click the zip file and select Extract All. Choose where you want to extract the files, then click Extract. Now open the FlyOB app folder. Find flyob.exe, right-click on it, and this step is very important. Make sure you select Run as Administrator. You may now see a Windows Defender smart screen warning. If it appears, click More Info, then choose Run Anyway. When Windows asks for permission, click Yes. When FlyOB opens for the first time, this is the home page. This interface gives you quick access to setup tools, extensions, and system options, all in one clean and easy-to-use layout. On the left side, you'll see the navigation sidebar, with options like Home, OB, and Extensions. First, we have the Home page. This is where you'll find featured tools and quick shortcuts. Next, we have the OB page. Here, you can personalize your device. You can change your device name and system language, adjust personalization settings, create a new local account. And finally, we have the extensions page. This page lets you run useful system tools. For example, if you want to refresh your desktop icons, click run on the clear icon cache extension. FlyOB will first run a PowerShell script, then refresh the icons. You can also create a system restore point or run the popular Chris Titus tool with a single click. First, it runs the PowerShell script and then the app opens automatically. Just like that. 
Feel free to explore these tools however you like. Now, let's see how to upgrade your Windows PC. Go back to the home page. Under the Featured Extensions section, find the Upgrade to Windows 11 card and click the Details button. After clicking Details, you will be taken to this page. From the drop-down menu, make sure Flyby 11 is selected. Then click Run. FlyOB will first run a PowerShell script and then it will automatically open the Flyby 11 app. If you see an error like, the operation was canceled by the user, don't worry, this usually does not mean you clicked cancel. This happens because Windows blocked the file using smart screen or user account control. Here's how to fix it. Open File Explorer. Go to your Downloads folder. Open FlyOB app. Then open the Scripts folder. Inside, you'll find flyby11.exe. Right-click on it and select Copy as Path. Now go to Start, search for PowerShell, and open it as Administrator. Now type the following command. Unblock dash file space dash path and paste the path we copied and press Enter. This will fix the issue. I'll also add this command to the video description. Now go back to Fly OB. Click the refresh icon in the top right corner. Click details again, then click run. This time, it should work without any issues. When Flyby 11 opens, this is the main interface. From here, you have two options. Click download to download the Windows ISO directly from the Microsoft page to start the process. Or, if you already have an ISO file, you can drag and drop it into the patch action area or simply click here to import it. Flyby 11 will automatically handle the rest. Since I already have the ISO file, I'll just click and import it. If you don't have one, I already covered that in my previous video. I'll link it in the YouTube card and in the video description. After dropping the ISO file, Flyby 11 mounts the ISO applies the required patches to bypass hardware checks, and then starts the Windows setup automatically. From here, the upgrade continues just like a normal Windows installation. Overall, FlyOB is a clean and well-designed tool. It makes complex Windows setup and upgrade tasks much easier, especially for older or unsupported PCs. If your PC still works, you shouldn't be forced to throw it away. Tools like this help you stay in control, and that's something I really appreciate. So guys, that's it for today. If this video helped you, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. Like and share this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.